Make note of these little icons on the left side black bar. Now I'm going to come and check for updates. You see that there isn't anything here indicating that there's an update. So click on Appearance, Themes, and we've got new version available. Update now. Okay, theme is updated. I'm going to go to Theme Jack Biz and you should see a bunch of changes along this left side black bar. Okay, landing pages, appointments, sales dynamite, form wizard, email and call leads. So there have been changes to all of these things and you wouldn't know it if you didn't update your theme. This tutorial is to show you some nice updates to blog posts. And we'll go to Posts, Add New, and I will stick a little bit of Latin in here. And some people have been asking, how do I set an image for the post that will always show up in the post? And let's just go back there. If you come to the right side of the screen and scroll down, you'll see a little box here that reads Featured Image and a link for Set Featured Image. Click on Set Featured Image. It will take you to your media library where you can choose from what you have here or click on Upload Files and you can upload an image that relates to your post. And I'm just going to grab one of these images here and set Featured Image. And we will Publish and Preview Changes. Okay, so here's our Featured Image. Now some people have asked, is there a way to turn off the date, the author, and the comment boxes. So you asked and Jack and his team went to work and created the solution. So let's go to the dashboard. We go to All Pages, click on Blog and Edit, and click on the gear for Blog and you can edit the number of posts that show up, the text color, the title color, border. If you want to show the date, you have it turned on. If not, you turn off. Show author, yes, no. Show the comment box, no. If you want this to show on all devices or only certain devices, you select that from here. Click Save. And you must remember to update here or you won't see the changes that you've just made. And click on Preview Changes. So here, this will show up because I'm logged in and looking at it. But when you are not logged in, you will see only the category settings. And here you'll see, if you scroll down the screen, you'll see that each of these posts has a featured image. If you have a blog page on your site, but you're not seeing the blog page in the menu, then we go back to the dashboard and we come down to Appearance and across to the flyout window and down to menus. First of all, you check to make sure that you're working on the main menu. If it's not on the main menu, then you select it and click on select. Okay, and if you don't see blog in this list, click on view all and it will show you all pages. And here is blog and you would click Add to Menu. I've already got it here, but then you would grab the Blog tab and drag it to wherever you wanted it to show up in the list. And I'm just going to remove this. And then once you've got Blog where you want it to live, you click on Save Menu. Okay, and one other thing that people have asked about 
is the author. So you click on users and here is your username, your name, email address. Click on edit under username and come down here and nickname is where you will make the change and when you click on display name publicly as it will have a whole bunch of options here and if you change the nickname here you can then select it as the author so let me okay so I changed the nickname and now I have the option of having rep strategist be the author whoever is displayed publicly here is the name that will be listed as the author unless you have more users in the site then you can choose who's going to be the author and we'll save this and update the profile so the author is being removed and now each post has a featured image and it does not have the date or the author unless you want to add it. And that wraps up this tutorial.